welcome or welcome back to my channel it's sam plays i'm sam and today we are doing our able sister speed build so i wanted to update you all so i upgraded my house uh, so it's got the top level and i also got nook's cranny and i also got the shopping app so we are just moving along here um, on kona acres uh, so, like I said earlier, we will be doing the Able Sisters speed build. So, as you can see, it is going right next to the entrance. Um, once I did the entrance, I knew exactly where I wanted Able's. I wanted it next to it. Um, I had an idea for Able's, and I wasn't sure that I would get a spot next to the beach. And when I saw this, I thought, wow, this is so perfect. Um... You know, so I ended up putting Abel's here, and I, I love it. So, um, I am currently creating a small river to connect to the river mouth. Um, I am trying to figure out the best shape for the river. Obviously, I want it to go up a little bit. I will have a small bridge. You'll see here in a little bit that I will get the bridge and put Abel's sisters um, I didn't really have a rhyme or reason where I put Abel's. I just sort of wanted it um, not straight across. I wanted a lot of space. This ended up being a bigger build than I had anticipated. Um, so yeah, I had this vision for Abel's to sort of be like a, obviously a tailor shop. Uh, but I wanted people to be able to go do their laundry here. I wanted a few little sewing areas for people to make their own clothing if they wanted to. Um, so yeah, like I said in the last video, I'm basically creating this farm island where people are living off of the land. They're doing things themselves. And, uh, you know, obviously creating their own clothing is no different here. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to take it and uh, just sort of roll with it. So I just went to Tom Nook. I got Able Sister, uh, this Able Sister shop, and I got the small bridge. So I am trying to find a place for it, um, trying to figure out exactly where I want it. Later on, I do actually end up extending a little bit around the bridge to sort of fit a tree um, but overall the river sort of stays the same so uh, yeah so once I put down the bridge I'll do able sisters and then I will be time traveling so I have a better idea of sort of what I'm working with so Alright, so it's the next day. You can see the bridge and we have the Able Sisters shop. So the first thing that I decided to do was to go ahead and put down the pathing. So this actually worked out fairly well. Um, the path sort of worked pretty well with where Able's was. I was pretty happy that I you know, sort of got that planned out without really even realizing it. So, uh, like I said, the placement was pretty cool. I was pretty happy with where it ended up. I also go ahead and I do extend it out a little bit uh, just to kind of get the next path started. Um, I don't do it a lot, just uh, like I said, enough to get the next part started. Um, I'm not really sure what I am going to do after this, uh, what kind of build. I have a lot of plans for this island. Um, so yeah, I'm just sort of going with the flow. 
and uh, like I said, the entrance build sort of inspired this build because like I said, I had an idea for Abel's and I wasn't sure if I would get it in a good spot and this just worked out perfectly. So um, like I said, I sort of wanted a beach spot for Abel's um, since I will be putting a small farm in front on the beach so like I said it just sort of worked out really nicely um, the placement of Abel's here so as you can see I'm trying to lay down this brick path I really need to like sit down and work with this <laughs> so I think uh, I've been struggling quite a bit I don't know why but how I ended up doing it I actually really like it and I don't know why I didn't like think of this earlier but hey you know it's still a learning process for me. I've only had the game for a few months, so. So originally I was going to do everything on this uh, same level for the Able Sisters and once I started laying everything down and was looking at the land, I sort of realized that I was not going to have as much space as I had realized and so I do end up building a cliff and working on the farm here. So this is my take on a cotton farm or a cotton field. Uh, these are actually white pan, not white pansies. Oh my goodness. I do that every single time. White Cosmos. Um, I have picked them and to me they just look like little cotton buds on the um, sort of outside of the stems. So I just thought, wow, that was super perfect. Um, and then I had a few of these Lily of the Valley, Valley from Bellhaven, and I just thought they looked like super overgrown cotton balls. And so yeah, I decided to put the few of those that I had. And uh, yeah, so this is where I, like I said, realized that I need to figure out how I'm going to get more space. And then I thought, well, let's do a huge cliff and just continue Abel's up on this cliff. So I am just going to go ahead and build and it will sort of wrap around Abel's I made this cliff pretty big and uh, towards the end you'll see I actually tear down a little bit off the back here just because I didn't really need all the space uh, that I did which honestly was pretty nice usually uh, at least on, on Bellhaven I always had to extend out my cliffs so the fact that I had to actually take it in a little bit was pretty nice so it left me with a little extra space um, in case I wanted to do something on the back side there. Uh, but yeah, so throughout the video, you'll just see me going back and forth. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I just ran around without even like knowing what I was doing. <laughs> so, uh, don't mind me if I look a little, um, just discombobulated, like <laughs> just trying to figure out like where to put things and, what I'm going to use and all of that stuff. So it's pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> so, and like I said, I just sort of uh, won this. I came in with an idea and 
I had to change it quite a bit, but like overall, I do really like how this turned out. I do love the like multi-level um, vibe that I have here, the multi-level multi area. I just think it looks really cool. So here I am doing another cliff tree. I believe I also do it on the other corner as well. I just love these cliff trees. I love how close they get to the edge. I just think they look so good. Now I'm just going through and curving all of the edges for the cliff. And I'm going to Tom Nook to get a incline. So I ended up going with the log inclines. I figured they would actually fit in with something that I will be doing later on. Um, a, a, a build. So... Uh, yeah, I, like I said, decided to go with the log one, so we are going to go ahead and see what it looks like. And I actually do extend this out a little bit. I sort of wanted the uh, incline to be hidden, so I just really like how those look when they're hidden behind the cliff. I, I just really like those. So, uh, yeah, so I went through and flattened those. I couldn't yesterday because Flick was in my way, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so here I'm just gonna go ahead and start laying out some trees. I think I do go get a bunch of bushes and flowers and just start filling in some of the area, extending the path here so I can sort of see where I am gonna go from here. I will need to plan out a little transition space there between the entrance and Abel's. So that will be another speed build uh, coming up, I think. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there exactly, um, but I just know that that square pond is not staying. <laughs> So here I just start placing bushes and flowers in some spots and I'll start laying out a path. So the grass that I have is just light enough to where you can still see it and I thought that was really cool to even put on the grass so it sort of looks like that people might have been walking on it. So I'm hoping to do like a secret area that is sort of back on the side of Abel's. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but that's why I laid this little path down. Um, eventually something will go over there. Um, like I said, maybe something sort of secretive uh, to where, you know, people, there isn't a, a clear path to get there. So um, it's, it's kind of like a shortcut way. So... Like I said, I'm not really sure exactly what I'll do over there yet, but um, I do have, like I said, this little pathway sort of ready to go in case I do do something. So I'm just looking around trying to figure out what I'm going to do 
and this actually takes me a really long time um, so realistically it looks like I did everything like firsthand and I did not so um, like the cotton farm took me forever because I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it or which direction I wanted to do it and um, yeah it took me a while for the loom and yeah it just a lot of putting things down seeing if I like it and you know if not then trying it all again so <laughs> Um, but I didn't want to have like a two hour long video so uh, obviously I cut a lot of that out just to show you you know the final product and what I did. I also found these really cute puddle coats and here is just trying to figure out which one looks best with the grass. So I decided to go with that one now that I have it. And then later on, I do actually find one for the sand as well. So you'll see me do that um, just so I can have one for the sand, which will actually come in handy in a future build. So here you can see I am trying to get the code for the sand and I sort of just pick a couple because I wasn't sure exactly which one would look the best. Um, so yeah, so I will have all of the codes that I used uh, in the description below. Again, most of these I found from Pinterest. Um, some of them I did just search in the custom design portal and it popped up so I believe the puddle one I've seen it before on Pinterest and I couldn't find it and I just typed in puddles in the custom search and it actually showed up so I was pretty happy about that um, so yeah so here I'm just sort of trying to get a bunch of items deciding how I'm decorating so this area is essentially the cotton area you know you pick your cotton you spin it all together, put it in the loom, create your fabric, and things like that. So I uh, just really like how simple it is. I don't have too much going on here, which to me is fine. I sometimes really enjoy just the simple beaches with just a few items on it. Um, it's sort of how my Bellhaven Island was. I didn't have too much on the beaches. I had a few areas done but for the most part it was uh, pretty bare and sometimes just a simple beach is all that you need. Again, today I feel like everyone wanted to talk to me, so I had Dottie here wanting me to give something to Eric, which I did, and now they're like best friends again. So, um, yeah. I think Buck also asks me to like get him a fish. He asked me three times this during this build to get him something a bug or a fish. So, yeah. <laughs> It's like you guys I'm trying to work <laughs> So up here actually took me a really long time. I was not sure how I wanted to design this area. I just was playing around with it. The final product I absolutely love. I love how this all turned out. 
Um, but yeah, it took me a long time and you can see here just playing around with things and trying to figure out uh, what I like, what I don't like. So here is sort of where I decided I didn't really like the lighter stalls with these, the wooden, um, the darker wood um, laundry area. So basically I'm treating this like laundry soap and just essentials you'll need for laundry. Um, if that doesn't tell you anything, <laughs> uh, but yes, this will be a laundry area. Um, so just a place where people can come up, they can ask for their laundry to be done. And yeah, so lots of um, w wash tubs, um, clotheslines, there's a sunflower blanket uh, hanging to dry. Uh, later on in the build, you'll see that. So, Oh, and here's Buck. <laughs> and I totally forgot to get him that butterfly, by the way. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but this is where I decided I actually like the darker wood against that more natural brown wood. Uh, so I ended up going with that stall instead. Um, but yeah, and then I was like, well, maybe I'll do a little pond here, and it just was not big enough, and I just was not getting that, so I decided to do a little waterfall instead, and I actually really like how that turned out compared to the potential pond idea I was going to do. Um, so yeah, plus they, they have the, the little river and the ocean, so lots of different areas to wash clothes, and yeah. this is where I sort of realized that this was a much better spot for the laundry soap shelves and things like that and it definitely worked out a lot better I really like how it sort of works out and I also got super lucky with these containers I I think I got these both the day before the speed build and then I found that code and I just thought it was so perfect so I set them there to sort of act like laundry detergent and fabric softener for them to use uh, to wash their clothes. So I'm just laying out items that I think people would use when doing their laundry. So I have another clothesline and I have a, um, I put a iron board. I do put a utility sink out there. I don't know if I actually did that already, but um, yeah. So anything that I thought of where people could use to do their laundry, that is up there uh, in the area. So down here I made a little sewing spot so people can come sit by the little river so do what they need to do I just thought it was super cute especially in front of Abel's right there I have a little sewing box
just trying to make the area feel very homey and you know like a nice clutter if that makes sense <laughs> um but very functional like i said we're living off this island and you know we're pretty much doing everything ourselves so um just trying to create different spaces and areas where people can you know like i said pick the cotton and create fabric so wash their clothes anything like that um, this is where you'll need to go to do it So now I'm just going around filling in some areas, putting down a bunch of flowers, uh, codes, things like that. Just trying to start filling in the little spaces. I do have the cliff up there um, that I will need to do, but I am just trying to sort of finish this ground area first. And I'm pretty sure I still didn't even finish it first. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I just sort of am all over the place. Like I get an idea and I go do it quick. Um, I don't know. That's just sort of how I how I roll here. So here's where I ended up adding a pants press. I honestly completely forgot that I had it. Um, so yeah, so then I decided to lay down some of this brick pathing just to sort of give it an, a little bit of a cleaner area for people to sit here and iron or do the pants press, hang up laundry, things like that. Just adding a little um, texture in a little different color rather than just the green grass everywhere so This grass code that I used, I used it on the last build on the uh, dirt path, which I really like. I like how it, you know, it almost looks like it's trying to grow back, but people walk on it too much. Um, so it doesn't fully grow back. But when it's on the actual grass, it looks really good. Uh, it just, just gives that action to the grass. So definitely one of the best codes that I have found um, to lay on the grass. So I'm really, really happy with those codes. Um, like I said earlier, the codes will be listed down below everything that I used uh, in this build. And I'm just going to also keep adding on to it. So I'll have all the codes from the last build as well and these codes as well. So um, just sort of keep a running list of what I have used uh, so you can go check out those codes anytime. So here I am making a small little sewing spot. I just thought it was super cute to look out over the cliff and, you know, hang out by the tree, do a little sewing, have a little bamboo uh, basket here to sort of to act like maybe some sewing materials or fabric in the uh, bin so I just thought that was super cute
I just tried it to make it a just a small cozy area just a place where people would want to come and just relax So now I'm just going through trying to fill up that up uh, cliff space. Um, it is behind Abel's, so luckily uh, I didn't really have to do too much back there, but I still wanted to decorate it because obviously you can walk back there. Uh, you can get to the sewing spot, um, but I just wanted it to feel um, very natural. I didn't want too much up there and um, you know to feel super cluttered uh, so I do lay down a lot of the codes and things like that but again uh, I just wanted it to feel very simple very relaxing you know a place where you can just go and de-stress go sew things like that At this point, I am not really sure how many apples I have eaten, so I need to like have a supply of trees in my inventory <laughs> or maybe move my flowers closer. I have no idea. Sometimes I just feel like I am all over the place. So here you can see I did destroy some of the cliff a little bit. Um, to give me that little extra space so it worked out very very nicely and here I'm just filling up with codes just to make it look grassy and natural back there um, I do put a few barrels a nice uh, plant a monstera I believe is what it is So at this point, I am pretty close to being done with the build. Now it's just sort of going through, laying down some codes or putting down more flowers, um, which is what I am doing here, <laughs> of course. Uh, but yeah, it's just, like I said, filling in those little empty spaces. I believe I do finish an area or two, the small little areas I have left. Uh, but like I said, most of, most of this is just filling in, trying to make it look full and natural. So here's where I decided to put the little sunflower blanket, or at least that's what I am going to call it. I know it's a kimono stand, but I just thought maybe it was like a blanket that is hanging up to dry. And I just love the sunflower pattern. To me, that just screams like farm, summer. I honestly wish we had sunflowers in the game. 
I just think it would be so pretty to do just a huge sunflower field. I just feel like none of the flowers are close enough. And to me, when I think of a field, I would think, you know, actual flowers. I have seen some where they use panels and they're really pretty, but um, just not the, you know, the feel I would want if I'm thinking of like a, a flower field. Um, so yeah, so I definitely would love sunflowers though. It could be maybe like a specialty summer flower or something where you can only get it in June or July or, or whenever sunflowers tend to uh, grow the most in, but yeah. So there I extended the river a little bit or the land into the river to fit a tree. I just thought it was so bare on this side and I just really wanted another tree here. I do have a palm tree over there but um, definitely pretty open and bare in this area. So just laying down some codes. I laid down some pathing. I didn't want to put an actual path here. Um, since this is just a small beach farm so I thought a little of the grass pathing so it looks like people do walk across uh, but uh, it's not you know a place where a lot of people go to just sort of hang out <laughs> so uh, yeah So here I'm just sort of going through and looking to make sure everything looks full and just laying down codes. Like I said, this area I am going to potentially do soon, this little transition area. I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do here yet. Um, so I don't want to fill it up too much, just enough to wear... Um, you know, it will still look complete when you take pictures or go to view it, so, yeah. I am doing sort of one final walkthrough uh, to make sure everything is good to go. All the codes are fine and just laying down a few little bug models. And here I also am filling in the area behind the tree. That was sort of a last minute, like, oops, I forgot <laughs> to, to put something back here. So luckily flowers and bushes are your best friend when decorating around trees, I feel like. At least that's what I think. Like, tree, oh, there should be a bush around and uh, some flowers. But. So at this point, I am pretty happy with the build. And just sort of, like I said, seeing if there's been any super crazy empty spaces. And I'm pretty content. So I am actually about to... Um, do some design codes, leave them out as sort of pieces from Abel's. Uh, these codes will also be in the description below. These are just some really cute dresses that I found that I thought would be super cute for the builds. And I also uh, sort of based them off of the island. So there's a honey outfit, sunflower, and a, a wildflower. So... So here is the final walkthrough. I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. And we've got Egbert. Egbert has decided to leave and I do let him. So I actually have done the hunt and will be posting that um, pretty soon after this video. Uh, so we, We'll find out if I get a dreamy. So here is the walkthrough as you're coming off of the entrance. So you can walk across here and you get to the cotton farm, the loom, the spin, uh, fabric spinning place. 
Um, and then we have in front of Abel's, we have a little sewing area and a pathway that leads to nothing right now, but hopefully something soon. Here's the laundry area where you can wash your clothes, iron, uh, do anything you need to do there. And here's the secret sewing area. So overall, I really love how this turned out. It feels so cozy and functional. And yeah, it just was a perfect build for these this farm island. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, subscribe down below, comment, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!